Morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. It's a real chilly minus 10 degrees here today. You can probably see on the trees we've got this lovely hoar frost and I don't know if you can hear it but there was a bird of prey just uh, hovering around a little bit earlier so uh, I thought it'd be a great time to talk about some tips for photographing in cold freezing conditions as well as finding some good photos along the way so let's go see what we can find. Okay, so tip number one, and probably the most obvious, is clothing. We're going to be standing around quite a bit in these freezing conditions, so it's important to be warm. And today I'm wearing thermal boots. I've got uh, my photography gloves on, uh, which are great because obviously I can still use my fingers to, to on the touchscreen on the back of the camera. I've got a couple of coats on. I've got a down vest and a down coat, woolly hat. So really hopefully prepared for the elements. So I've come across my first scene and we've got this lovely group of trees just sat on the hill here. Um, they're a little bit intertwined with the branches so not the sort of cleanest of compositions but I uh, still think it makes for a beautiful shot. We've got the lovely mist coming in over the hill there with just a bit of light capturing from behind and really quite a simple composition. I want to include as much of the surrounding area as possible, really to sort of simplify the image. The trees are pretty much going to be silhouettes and uh, the idea is just to capture that sort of cold icy feel. So I'm going to take a couple of shots and uh, here's the first image. So tip number two is acclimatise your camera gear. If you're coming from a warm environment straight into the cold, what can happen is you can get a lot of condensation on your camera and on your lenses and the same with coming out of the cold and into the warm. So it's a good idea to let your gear acclimatise a little bit. And another handy tip as well is if you've been out in the cold and you're going to want to get to your photos quickly, pop the memory card out so that you don't have to get the camera out once you get back into the warm again. Tip number three, keep your spare batteries somewhere warm, either close to your body or, or in a pocket. They just won't last in these cold conditions and you want to get as much out of them as you can.
So tip number four, if you're using an aluminium metal tripod like I am with this big beast, make sure you've got some thermal padding between your hands and the tripod or this big beast is gonna become a permanent attachment. Okay, so we've got this stunning scene here. We've got these icicles formed on the right-hand side that are dripping water, just starting to thaw a little bit. The uh, waterfall, not too spectacular today, but it's giving just a nice small trickle of water coming out. As you can see in the back of my camera, I've got these beautiful icicles on the right-hand side. We've got this small trickle of water coming down through the bridge, which normally would be fairly rapid when the water's been, when the rain's been coming down quite heavily. And what I've done is I've also positioned the camera so that it's fairly high up and I don't lose the water on the left hand side. There's still a gap between the two rocks. So uh, fairly wide lens. I'm shooting on my 17 to 35 millimeter wide angle lens and uh, I've got a polarizer on, one to stop the reflections in the water but also as well to help slow the exposure because with the water dripping off of the icicles and the water coming down, it's giving a nice pattern. So I want to try and capture that a little bit as well. So we'll take a couple of exposures and uh, here's the image. Tip number five when you're out in icy cold conditions is always keep your gear in a good safe bag. I've been, I've slipped over a few times and uh, would have hated to have lost a, a lens or camera along the way. So it's always good to keep your gear tucked away safely. So I've just come round a little bit. I'm still focused in on that small bit of waterfall that's, uh, well, I use the term waterfall lightly because obviously it's coming down uh, very slightly, but uh, I position myself down in amongst the rocks and uh, because we haven't had much rain for a couple of days, we've got these lovely rock formations that are left when the water drains down. And uh, this lovely winter light is just giving a soft glow on the rocks. So I'll, uh, I'll show you on the back of the camera my composition. So as you can see, I've just positioned myself. So we've got these lovely lead-in lines coming in from the bottom of the image and taking us up to the small trickling falls in the background there. They're not great, so I don't need to make them too much of a feature. It's really about these different shapes and colors and tones in the rocks. I've even got a couple of leaves there that have just sort of, I think they're almost frozen to the rock. And we've got this water coming down and trickling in between. I'm probably gonna have to focus stack this because my foreground interest is very close to the camera and there's a big difference in my background there. So I'll probably do a focus stack 
and I may even do a couple of exposures. Well, I'll definitely do a couple of exposures just to, when I get back on the computer, I can see just how, how they look. I'm shooting on my 28 to 50 millimeter lens and I'm uh, shooting around about sort of, around about three seconds, um, two and a half, three seconds, ISO 64, uh, F14. Um, but as I say, I'm going to try a few different exposures. It's be quite nice to sort of smooth out and capture some of that motion in the water. Um, there is a little bit of water trickling down in front of the camera there, but it's quite dark in amongst the rocks. So uh, anyway, we'll take a couple of photos and here's the image. Okay, so I've been hunting around looking for a nice composition within the leaves and uh, because it's, there's some nice still frost and ice on them and uh, it's a little bit tricky because obviously this time of the year they're starting to sort of fade and, and not look so fresh but actually I've come across this really nice small composition here where I've got some oak leaves, some beech leaves and some beech nuts and uh, it really makes a really nice small composition. If I show you on the back of the camera uh, you can see that we've got this lovely, still got some really nice colour within this uh, oak leaf. Still with some, we've still got some nice yellows and, and golden colours around there. And we've got these beautiful little beech nuts that are just placed there. It, it crops a little bit when we're shooting on through the camera. So, uh, and I'm shooting on a macro lens, so uh, I haven't quite got the same uh, depth of field. But uh, anyway. We'll take a couple of shots and here's the image. What an amazing day and some amazing scenes that we've captured today. I don't think it's really gone over minus nine degrees and it's certainly been incredibly chilly. And hopefully those tips will help for next time you're out photographing in the snow and in the cold. And uh, we've got some great images. We started off with the trees silhouetted by the lovely winter light and we've come down and managed to capture some lovely rock formations.
So I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of the vlog. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so that you don't miss the next episode. And don't forget, I've got prints available on the website, limited edition. So head over there if you'd like to purchase a print. And there's 15% off through December with the code on the website. And uh, look forward to you joining me on the next vlog. See you then. Thank you.